Political and religious leaders are remembering the late Notre Dame president, Reverend Theodore Hesburgh, as a champion of human rights. As Gretchen Frazee reports, the man affectionately known as Father Ted was laid to rest Wednesday. In line with his last request, Reverend Theodore Hesburgh was given a traditional funeral mass at the Basilica on Notre Dame's campus. In life, Ted gave himself to the Lord, and now we commend him to that same Lord. We cannot but believe that the Lord will respond in the words of today's gospel reading, come. You who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom. He was then laid to rest in a small cemetery on campus with hundreds of students, friends, and colleagues looking on. And he did it in such a quiet, unassuming, non judgmental way. The ceremonies ended with a tribute where national leaders gathered to honor the Notre Dame president, who's known for his many accomplishments, including opening Notre Dame up to women in 1972. Father Ted, in his infinite wisdom, broke the barriers when he admitted women, he and Father Ned, in the early 1970s. And that was a good thing, because I met my wife in a history class here at Notre Dame. But Hesburg was also influential in national and global politics. He held 16 presidential appointments during his life and was known as a champion of civil rights, serving as a founding member of the Civil Rights Commission. Father Hesburg was that fearless fighter. But he inspires us all to take up that mantle and to fight for what is right. He did so much for people everywhere, and the world will really miss this wonderful man. Hesburgh died last week at the age of 97. President Barack Obama also surprised the audience with a video message during Hesburgh's memorial tribute. Obama met Hesburgh when he spoke during Notre Dame's 2009 commencement ceremonies.